Hey there, it's me, and our album comes out at the end of this week. I'm very excited, it's been a long week. Um, and I thought I would um, just shoot a video a day. I'm late on this one, I got uh, busy doing other stuff. Turned out that mice had chewed through a fuel line in my car. <laughs> so there was that, that was very exciting. Um, but uh, that's dealt with now. Um, and I'm looking for, for documents and files and stuff to talk to you about the songs that are on this. And Mobile, you already know, um, and I, I, I dug it around the files. I found the printout from tracking down in Muscle Shoals, where you can see my various idiosyncrasies, like uh, capitalizing Lord, as if it were the Tetragrammaton. Um, please put punctuation there at the end. It's, it's the sort of thing I, I like. But, but I looked up the original file, which was written in uh, the dressing room of the College Street Music Hall in uh, New Haven, Connecticut, one of the finest venues in the country, in my opinion. Um, and I'm always in a very good mood in New Haven because uh, we order pizzas from several different pizzerias uh, and we, we try and we try and get our pizza game going almost as soon as we get to town. Like I do. You know, like some people are like, you know, I want to wait until the right moment. The right moment when you get to New Haven is now to start eating pizza. That's, that's the right moment. I, God, I can't wait to go back. The pandemic has sucked. <laughs> it's really sucked. Um, anyway. So the song, I dug up the original um, demo on my little studio mini app that I record stuff into in my phone when I have an idea. And I dug up the original College Street demo and it sounded almost exactly like uh, like the song sounds to me in my head, although the, uh, the studio version obviously has William McFarlane and Spooner Oldham and everybody on it. But it was based on this. So here, this is my guild. But here's the, the, the fingering, it's an E. And one thing I, I learned to do in like 94 that was a, a big deal for me was uh and this relates to sort of my catholic rigidity here's a d chord right now if you don't have the kind of rigidity i'm talking about you might say well you, you put that d anywhere but the first day you realize you can go well i can take that d and move it up there now it makes it now it's cool right now that's an e chord over a d so it's like an e major seven i guess right I write songs. I go, shoot, that sounds cool. We can write a song about that, you know? It's about orchids? I don't know. Is there enough songs about orchids yet? No, there's something cool about orchids. You know, that's, that's how my songwriting process works. Um, and, you know, if you ever heard the Badger song. I'm sorry, I can't say that. So that's how my process works, kind of, is like, you know discover that you can move your hand up the neck and then write a whole song about it. Well, I'm doing that, I'm, I'm backstage at College Street, just feeling utterly pizzafied, feeling pretty good about myself and my life. And, and I start moving the E around. Going. All right. And I like that. I especially like it because I don't know what that E is. I can figure it out if I think of it. It's obviously it's like an F sharp of some kind, but it's got a, um, natural in the bass there and in the treble so what is that chord music people will know I'm forever jealous of the music people and the song winds up going Jonah went down to the dock to flee from the wrath of the Lord but the mark on his forehead was visible to everybody on board they threw him down so that I, I thought I would just uh, go through five songs this week uh, to just talk a little bit about what I can recall about the process of writing them. And that's the first one. I'm excited for the record to come out on Friday. If you haven't heard it yet in any way, I'm excited for you to hear what we did in Muscle Shoals right before things got weird. Okay, I miss you all so much. Bye.